This is an iPhone 10 and it's running on iOS 14.4.1 and as you can see Cydia is working perfectly fine on it as you can see here the specification. Also the Cydia installed tweaks like the car bridge is working perfectly fine on iOS 12. So today in this video I'll be showing you how to jailbreak our iPhone running on iOS 12 to iOS 14.4.2. So this is the device which I'll be jailbreaking today in this video. This is an iPhone 10 running on iOS 14.4.1. Let me show you the iOS version in the settings. So I'll be heading to the settings, general and about and over there you can see iOS 14.4.1 iPhone 10. So firstly let me show you that uh, currently when I am recording this video iOS 14.4.2 is available for install but I am not installing it and I have turned out automatic updates because the uh, lower the iOS version you have it's the more the probability that you can jailbreak your iPhone. So let me just turn on my laptop and uh, before continuing I need to tell you that this uh, jailbreak is particularly available from iPhone 5s to iPhone 10 and for iOS 12 to iOS 14.4.2 and I believe that it will also be available for iOS 14.5 in the future. So now uh, let's type check rain on Google. So we'll go for the first result. I'll be providing the URL in the description also. Here click the get the beta now button and you'll be uh, uh, sent here. Here you will click download for macOS. Now this particular software for jailbreak is available on macOS and Linux only and it is not available for Windows. So if you want to actually use it on Windows you have to dual boot Linux and do the same procedure which I'll be following. Alternately if your iOS version is less than 14.3 then you should go for uncover jailbreak as the uncover jailbreak is much better and it can jailbreak the newest iPhones also. And uncover jailbreak can also be used from Windows. So now we are transferring Checkrain into our applications and as soon as we do it we can see the Checkrain application in our launchpad. So this is one step which we have completed. So now we will be connecting our iPhone to our MacBook using a cable. So currently I am using a lightning to uh, USB-C cable but uh, the official release notes and uh, some bug reports say that uh, this cable not works very perfectly so it is preferred that you should use USB-A to lightning as uh, it's preferred. So uh, now I will be trusting the iPhone. In my case it's already trusted but it, if your iPhone is not trusted to your computer you have to uh, actually go into files and select your uh, iPhone like I have done and it will say you to trust your iPhone and you have to then put on the passcode on your iPhone to trust it. After you do that you have to open check uh, check rain but when you will try to do this it will say that uh, it controls malware so you should be attentive. So uh, we'll be continuing over here. So to do that we have to open the settings of the macbook and go into security and privacy options and over here you can see check rain was blocked and uh, because of that only we were not able to run it so we'll click run anyway and open it. So as you can see now it is opened. So when it's opened we'll click on the options and now comes the real game. If you are having an iPhone which has iOS uh, version 14.3 or below then you will not click the allow untested iOS versions uh, button. But in my case I am on iOS 14.4 so I will be clicking it. If you have iPhone 8 series or iPhone 10 then only you have to click the skip A11 BRP check option uh, else you have to uncheck it. So these are the options which we have configured. Now we'll click back and directly uh, start the process. And as soon as we click the start button it says if we are running iPhone 8, 8 plus or 10 we have to actually uh, remove our lock screen or the lock screen password whatever we can say face id touch id we have to remove that. So now this is a main claw in this uh, jailbreak uh, only for these I iPhone 8 series and iPhone 10 that we have to actually remove the lock screen and as uh, even if the phone is jailbroken and after that we uh, put on the lock screen then uh, the device will reboot and the jailbreak will be removed. So uh, I'll be continuing and removing the uh, lock screen for this video tutorial. If you are having iPhone 7 series or below then you don't have the need to do this. It's only for these uh, models. So I have successfully now removed the security from my iPhone. Now I'll be continuing again. So now as soon as I click start button it continues a bit and uh, says a warning that we are doing it at our own risk and we should back up our data before continuing. 
after we click continue we'll uh, now click next and as soon as we click next our device will uh, go into recovery mode so you can see the device is rebooting and it's now in the recovery mode so after that uh, this screen will be popped up now according to your version of the phone it will give you some steps uh, to do like in my case it's saying uh, to hold the volume down and power button for some seconds and then release the power button for the uh, iPhone 7 series it will be different at, as uh, uh, the home button will be in, uh, included so after uh, continuing the steps our device will go into DFU mode and after it goes into DFU mode uh, the installation of the jailbreak will start and as you can see it's uh, booting and when it says booting we can see uh, this uh, whole thing going on our iPhone so it is uh, showing because we have selected the verbose uh, option uh, while configuring if you remember so it will take a minute or two maybe it can even take longer but in my case it take three four minutes but I should tell one thing that it was not done in one uh, chance it was giving errors I have to do it five or six times and on the fifth or sixth time it actually jailbroken so after that you will see this uh, check rain uh, icon on the desktop and as soon as we click it we will see this loader app opened and over here we can see this CD option so we will click it so that the CD app will be installed in our phone so CD and install so it is downloading of uh, content from online and uh, then it will install Cydia so this process will take hardly 30 to 45 seconds and after that Cydia will be successfully installed on your mobile device in my case it's iPhone 10 running on iOS 14.4.1 and uh, I believe if uh, I, you are using iOS 14.5 in future then uh, uh, this uh, jailbreak will be working on that also so as you can see the check rain app is automatically closed and uh, the CD app is now visible on the home screen of my iPhone so this is the CD app if you can see it clearly uh, and this is the app now I'll be uh, showing you once again that this is the same iPhone iOS 14.4.1 iPhone uh, 10 the same iPhone uh, and I'll be now opening the Cydia app so this is the CD app it opens very smoothly right over here and it's uh, fully working tweets can be installed just like normal uh, you can see iOS 14.4.1 iPhone 10.3 so it's saying for some upgrades I'll just ignore it for now and uh, it's yeah that was pretty much it it's working perfectly fine and I can search for different tweaks like uh, if I want to install car bridge I can search for it but it will not show just like that we have to do some steps to uh, get car bridge so in the next video I'll be showing you how to install car bridge on iOS 14 so that you can watch YouTube videos in your cars, cars infotainment system because if you search car bridge right away you will see nothing but in the next video I'll be showing you how to install it and here's a glimpse of car bridge working on, on iOS 14.4.1 14 uh, uh, you can see YouTube is over here so that was the video thanks for watching my video I hope it helped you don't forget to like and subscribe peace